Hi and welcome to Verity Hearts, it's Vera. Now I found this quote quite some time ago, it's by Oscar Wilde, and I wanted to write a blog about it, but I kept putting it off because I thought it was a bit in your face. But I finally worked on it and I'd like to share my thoughts with you. And I'd love for you to share your thoughts on this. Um, perhaps you can leave a comment in the comments section of the website. Anyway, Oscar Wilde says, most people are other people. Their thoughts are someone else's opinions. Their lives are mimicry. Their passions are quotation. Now, as I said, I thought, I thought this is actually a very accurate quote, an accurate description of how we are. And what we believe but I did think it was a bit mm, in your face it's like telling people off <laughs> but really have you ever thought about or questioned your beliefs have you ever questioned whether those beliefs are things that you've thought about analyzed and consciously decided upon and, and decided they're a truth for you or are they things that well, you've been surrounded with, you've been conditioned into your entire life and you've just accepted them as being facts. And I think so many of us, well, I know I do, we, we go through life believing certain things and we somehow treat those beliefs as facts. We never actually question them. But the thing is, beliefs are simply that. They are just beliefs. They are not necessarily facts. And we can get so caught up in defending our beliefs that, you know, we'll, we'll argue till to a blue in the face. And, and then if somebody else believes something different, has a different perspective, we'll judge them, we'll criticize them. And we don't know what's wrong with them because, you know, they just don't know what the truth is. And the fact is that truth is our truth. It's our own beliefs that make that true. And what happens when someone, well, someone challenges our beliefs? How defensive do we get? And I wonder about that defensiveness. Is it because they've struck on something that's deep inside of us that, well, perhaps we have questioned that belief before we've tried to question it but we've silenced that voice so we didn't go into that because really think about it your conditioning has come from your parents your schools your friends um, society your community um, the social social media media all of that and there's this group think so if anyone actually steps outside of that and and questions it, well, there can be some really, really uncomfortable and severe consequences to, to that. So quite often we then suppress those questions. We don't even go there. We don't even explore because it would just be too difficult to fit in with everyone around us that believes something that perhaps we question or that we no longer believe. The thing is, if we have examined analyzed something, a belief, we've questioned it, we've worked through it, and we've accepted it as a belief, then there is no threat when someone comes along and questions us about our belief, or when they go to share their perspective, their views, their beliefs, because we'd have a solid foundation of our own belief. It's no threat to then explore what someone else thinks, to try and get an understanding of who they are, what their beliefs are, and why they believe what they believe. So have a look at some of the things that you have accepted your entire life. Are they things that you truly believe yourself? Or are they things that you simply accepted because that is what you were surrounded with? And I'll catch you next time.